tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a Canvas and Revolve, uh, the Canvas and Revolve tools in Fusion 360 to recreate a pulley like this one. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, clarify the learning objectives. You're going to learn to import a canvas or an image for reference while sketching, and then calibrate that canvas, as well as uh, trace and outline using the sketch tools. Once we have our sketch, we'll use the Revolve tool to convert that two-dimensional sketch into a three-dimensional object. Step one, we're going to download the pulley.jpg image that's attached to this assignment. Here it is. And we'll download that image that we can use as our reference image to trace. Step two, we're going to import that image as a canvas into Fusion 360. Here's my Fusion 360 project. First thing I'm going to do is save a new project. Give it a name. Command S for save. Let's call this Pulley Revolve. And in order to insert my canvas, I click on this icon. And I insert the image from my computer in my downloads folder. And it asks me, where do I want to place the, the image? I need to select the face where I'm going to place my image. I'm going to choose this side profile. And I click OK. And it shows me where it's going to place this. Now, I can reorient my screen to move this around. I can manually resize it. And I can also move it around on the screen. Now, I can see that this is not perfectly horizontal. It's slightly. Um, off from horizontal. So I do want to adjust the angle a little bit. So this is negative 5, which is too much. I just want to go down negative 1 degree, and that brings it pretty much horizontal. For now, this is pretty good, except I do want to align this edge of the pulley with the origin. What I'm trying to do is use that green central axis um, as the center of my pulley. I hit OK. Now this is in the general right orientation, but I don't know that it's properly calibrated. I do have a ruler in this image that I can use for reference. So this crucial step that I need to do next is to calibrate the image. The way I do that is go to the canvases folder, find the canvas that I just imported, right click, go down to edit, no, calibrate, go down to the calibrate option, click OK. And now it's waiting for me to click on two different points. I know that the distance from here to here is 3 inches. So I'm going to type that in as the dimensions. Right now it's think, it thinks it's only 13 uh, millimeters. So I have to type in 3 space IN. And that now knows that that's my uh, 3 inches um, reference. Now, this got moved away from the origin. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to right click, edit the canvas. And I'm going to move this so that, again, the center is centered on the origin. This is where I'm going to start my sketch. So now I've got my canvas in the place that I want it, and it's properly calibrated. So my approach from here is to create a sketch, define the center line. I'm going to outline just half of this profile. And then I'm going to revolve that profile around the whole axis. So let's create a sketch. We'll create a sketch on this side plane. And now we're re ready to begin sketching. I'm going to start with a construction line. And that construction line, I'm just going to use as the um, axis about which to rotate my sketch. From here, I'm no longer going to use construction lines. I'm just going to use uh, an actual line. All right, so now a solid line. I want my solid line to start on one edge of this pulley. I'm going to cut right through the middle because I'm only defining half of this. And now I've got that line defined. And now I'm going to draw the rest of the pulley. From this edge, I'm going to go straight up, even though the image 
uh, appears to curve away, I'm going to go straight up because I know that this edge of the pulley I want to be straight. And I'm going to click. And now I'm going to roughly outline the shape of this pulley. Now I'm just using straight lines. The learning objective here is not to make a perfect sketch, but the learning object objective is to learn how to use the revolve tool and the canvas tools. So I'm not too concerned about how nice your sketch looks, which is why I'm just choosing to keep it simple, use straight lines. You could use curved lines if you want. I'm clicking the rough outline. Um, all right, I come over here. I'm tracing the profile of this pulley. This outline, by the way, is the same profile as a V-groove belt. So we're trying to make this feature that will fit a V-groove belt. All right, I'm getting close to the end. Oh, I do want this to be vertical, so I'm going to come over a little bit more. All right, and now I'm going to come straight down, keeping it horizontal, well, no, vertical. And now to make this last connection, uh, one trick is that if I hover over that point and then I go right above it, it, it maintains that um, vertical reference. So now to complete my profile, I click the starting point, and now I have my complete profile, which I'm ready to finish. And any enclosed profile can be revolved. So now we are at the last steps. In order to turn this two-dimensional shape into a three-dimensional object, I just need to select it, choose the Revolve tool. It asks me what's the axis that I want to revolve about. So I'm going to revolve it about this axis. And by default, it defaults to 360 degrees rotation. All right, that looks pretty good. I have just a couple more details to add. Um, if my canvas at this point is kind of getting in the way and I don't need it anymore, which I don't, I can always go over to the canvases menu and hit the icon here, and that makes it not visible anymore. Uh, last thing I want to add to this pulley is a, um, a hole through the middle that'll fit the shaft of the motor. So I'm going to create a sketch on the front plane I will add a center diameter sketch, which I'm going to extrude. Now I can type in the diameter of the shaft plus some clearance. So I'm going to say 0.76 inches because it's a 0.75 inch shaft. And this will give me a little bit of clearance. I can finish this sketch, select the profile that I want to extrude, hit the letter E for extrude, and say that I want to extrude all the way through the pulley. All right, so now I have my pulley uh, that will fit over the shaft of the motor. Um, what I'm going to show you last is not required. All right, from this point, you could just take a screenshot of this, of your design, and include that with answers to your questions. Uh, but I'm going to take it one step further and I'm going to go and use those drawing tools. So I'm going to make a drawing from this design. And I'll choose a horizontal orientation of the paper. I'm going to make a drawing of this full assembly. And once the drawing tool loads up, I'm going to figure out the scale of my drawing. Um, at least three different perspectives of the drawing. And I'll figure out which things to dimension. So as I said, what I'm doing now is not a required part of the assignment, but it is a good review of things that we've learned so far. I'm going to change the scale to one to one and a half to fill up a little bit more of the screen. I'll place this view here. And I'm going to do just the visible edges because there's a lot of edges. I only want to see the visible edges for this drawing. So here's one perspective. I use the projected view, click on it, and now I can see that angled view as well as 
side view. And this is uh, redundant, but I'll do this view as well. All right, and once I'm happy with that, I click on this. I've got my drawings, and now I can go ahead and dimension the important features of this, which would be the inner diameter, the outer diameter. Um, perhaps I want to know the depth of this pulley and the depth of this pulley um, or other features like the total length would be important features. And I can use this in my assignment. So the full assignment details are here on Schoology, but that is a good overview of what we're doing.